Hi, it's Josh here from Create Studio. In our latest release, we've added a new effect, which we call Wave. And this enables you to create cool smoke effects, fire effects, and you can use this on flags and different elements to create some really nice looking motion. So I'll show you some examples, as you can see here. And what I wanna do is show you how you can use this um, in your own project. So you can see over here, I've got this uh, image of a fire. So I've got a background over here like this. And what I've done is created two flames like this and then added the wave effect to create this really nice looking motion. So if I just go ahead and remove that wave effect from both of these elements here, and I'll show you from scratch. So ordinarily also we've got a smoke effect over here, as you can see. So again, I'll actually I'll just delete this so I can start from scratch. So now I've got this scene here and to add a bit of motion to it, we can go ahead and add that wave effect. So if you go to effects over on the left panel and you just scroll down and make sure that you have updated to the latest version to see this effect in your account and you'll be able to see we've got wave here. So you just simply drag and drop it onto your um, flame like this. And if I just play this through, you can see we've got this kind of effect going on here. So if I just zoom in a bit closer, I'm gonna click on the wave effect over here. And first thing I'm gonna do is adjust the width. So I'm gonna make it not so, uh, like wavy, I guess, in a way, just gonna kind of smoothen it out and just, I can just preview it like so. Okay, I've got this looking quite nice. Maybe I'll just adjust that height as well. So you just got a subtle movement like that. Maybe I'll make it three. Okay, cool. So you can go ahead and just like play around with that. So I'm just gonna, again, also adjust this one to bring the, the wave down like this. I might bring the speed slightly down on this one. Okay, it's really subtle that one like so maybe I'll just bring it up a bit okay cool so let's just preview that see so this really nice looking fire effect and to create that smoke that's coming from the fire what we can do is use a pen tool I'm just gonna click on the pen tool and start at the beginning of the fire right here just go and click over like this and create kind of like a funnel type shape so something like that and just bring that down like that. So like a triangle. And I'll just bring this to the start. I'm gonna take off the border width, so there's no border. And for the color, I'm gonna make it a white. I'm just gonna bring up the opacity slightly, something like that. So it's kind of like a faded shadow. And I'm just gonna bring this down underneath the fire like that. And if I go to the fix, wave, and just drag and drop that on there. You will have to see when we preview this. You've got this already looking not too bad. But if you go to the settings over here and adjust the width, so kind of smoothen it out a bit, you got this looking really good. Maybe I'd adjust the, the speed slightly. And if we play that all together, you can see we've got the fire going on, we've got the smoke playing. And that's how quick and easy it is to use the wave effect to create some really nice looking effects. So over here, we've got the same kind of effect going on as I just did with the smoke. So if I go into this group, you'd be able to see over here that We've just created that triangle shape and I added the wave effect again over here. I'll show you what it looks like. So with the direction, I've changed the direction. So instead of it going like vertically, it's, it's coming on that kind of angle. So it's playing out the back like this. And all I did with this is I created that shape, added the wave effect, and then I duplicated it and then scaled it up slightly. So this one over here. So just kind of brought that down like that. And I changed the color and I did that Again, I duplicated it again, and you guys see I've got a different color here. So this is with like a slight gradient to give that nice looking design like that. And I've also added the fire effect onto the flame over here. And with this one, I added a looping uh, motion preset to make it go up and down like that as well. Like so. So that's yeah, a really nice effect that you can use um, to create some really nice style for your scenes. Um, the same thing with this flag example. So I'll show you how to create a flag like this as well. So it's looking really good. So what I'm going to do is just, I'll just delete this guy. So what I did was, is first of all, I've created a pole. And you, if you've got like a flag of a country, for example, you just get a JPEG or PNG image and just bring it in here and you can add the wave effect to it. But what I did was I created a, a rectangle and I made it a brown color. Then I just duplicated that and made a little kind of, darker element to make it kind of look like wood and a lighter one like that. And with this flag, 
what I did was I just went in here and I'll actually go ahead and create this again actually from scratch to show you so what you can do is first of all create a rectangle so you go to shapes rectangle or you can use shift R to create a rectangle so I've got my rectangle shape I'll just kind of make it the size that I want so about that kind of size and you could right click on that and rename this one flag for example and then what I want to do is just um, right click on this and group it and the reason I want to group this one is that I want to add that, f that effect onto the actual group so that whatever's inside the group will also have that wave effect so if you've I might just rename this one as well I'll call this one flag again so I've got this flag waving like so and what I can do is now add some text that say create studio and I could add some make it white I'll just bring up this like so and position that like that okay cool so we've got some text on the flag and now if I go ahead and mask it I can also around the corners like this on the group and the last thing I want to do is go to effects wave and drag that effect on like that so again you can see it's by default kind of going up so if we change the direction to about 270 now it's going across like that and because I've added the effect onto the actual group it's it's basically applying it to everything inside the group so this is really cool so if you create groups you can add like shapes or your logo for example inside the group and it will create that effect on the actual flag so I'm going to slightly change that down I'll bump up the width quite a lot bring this down slightly and just preview that what that looks like so it's looking already pretty cool and you can just you know go ahead and play around with the settings to get it as you like uh, maybe I'll just bring it up a bit and smoothen that out a bit okay cool so that's how you can create a nice looking kind of wave effect for a flag and same thing also with like your design so if you're creating social media posts like this for example a video ad you can create some really nice looping waves like this and to do that what you could do is I'll delete this I'm gonna go ahead and use it create a rectangle so shift R to create a rectangle and I'm gonna bring this out so full width like this I'll place it to the bottom I'll go to effects again drag and drop the wave effect adjust the direction and you can see I've got the wave going on already and I'll bring up the height and the width like so just drag this down and I've got a nice looking wave effect like that and for this one as well I'm gonna duplicate it and select the bottom one and just kind of move it up and across using the arrows on my keyboard and I'm just gonna change that color slightly as well make it slightly lighter and actually I might just quickly lock this one so I can play with this one a lot better so I've got to select that one bring this across like that and I'm going to adjust the effect to make this one slightly slower and also maybe a slightly higher as well okay so let's just preview that together so maybe it's a little bit faster so just bring that down cool so as you can see you can create some really nice looking designs um, with this wave effect and again with the same same with this one over here so you can use the wave effect to create these nice looking kind of squiggly lines and to do that all I did was again I created a line so I went to pen like this created a straight line like this so I just straighten it out slightly double click okay something like that looks good and then if I go exit here I'll bump up the width I'm gonna go to the border as well and just round the edges or the ends and I've got to effect wave drag and drop that on and adjust the direction you can see we've got this really cool effect so something like that and you can bump up the the border what I did was with this one I just simply rotated it and also I added a tile effect so I turned the tile on like this and this enabled me to create like a whole bunch of squiggly lines without having to create them and duplicate them so like this and I did this twice so I did it once for the green one and once for the yellow one and just kind of position them in different 
places like that so yeah i hope that gives you some ideas on how you can use the wave effect um, as i said make sure to download the latest version and to see this effect in your effects panel down at the bottom uh, and yeah if you're enjoying create studio would love to hear have a review either on Trustpilot, Captera, or our Facebook page. And yeah, we look forward to seeing some of the videos you create with this new effect inside Create Studio and our Facebook group. And yeah, as always, have fun creating. <laughs>